Afternoon, I'm David Sears with the KSAT 12 News Update. Casterville's police chief could learn his fate later today. There is a special city council meeting scheduled for tonight at 5. Members are set to discuss disciplinary options. This comes after police chief Brian Jackson was accused of using a racial slur several times during a murder investigation. The concern was brought to light by the Medina County Sheriff who says he heard the inappropriate language caught on a body camera. Casterville City Council previously placed Jackson on administrative leave after an hours long meeting last week. It is election day. The polls are open and if you need to go vote and you need a ride via offering free lifts, all you need to do is show your valid voter registration card to the bus or van driver today and they will be taking you to a polling location where you can vote. Polls open till seven o'clock tonight. We have much more information for you online at KSAT.com. And we will be following these races when the polls close this evening at 7. And that includes a conversation hosted by Myra Arthur and Steve Spreester. It's part of our series, The Breakdown. We will bring you the results as they roll in, speak live with major candidates, and have our power panel of elected analysts. It starts at 7 tonight on KSAT.com and on all our apps. Then tune in to the Night Beat for the latest results. And CPS Energy customers can expect higher bills starting this month. The first several planned rate increases actually go into effect today. A rate increase of 3.85% went into effect. CPS Energy officials say that that rate increase will add an additional $3.84 to the average residential customer's monthly bill. And in addition, there will be an average increase of $1.26 per month in the fuel adjustment portion of the customer's bill. CPS Energy says once again it is planning more rate hikes over the next five years. That is the latest for now. We'll once again be back with all your election updates at on KSAT 12 News at 5 and 6. And again on our website, KSAT.com.